Good morning. Today is Friday and what a long year this week has been. I know that's going all over social media, but could it be more true? I don't think so. Oh, so anyway, um, my weekend starts today. I officially declared the weekend is starting on Friday this week. And what I'm going to do, I am going to fill my weekend with spring cleaning. So doing the things I don't do on a normal basis, like clean my kitchen cabinets and, you know, like dust the ceiling corners and, you know, spring cleaning. And then um, while I'm cleaning, I'll be listening to audiobooks. I started a new one yesterday when I went for a hike and I'll talk more about that later. Um, as far as a book book, a paper book, I started The Silence of the Girls last night. So far, so good. If you enjoyed The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, I'll hold off judgment uh, till I'm done with the book because I do not want to steer anyone wrong. But so far, I am really enjoying Silence of the Girls, but I'm not that far into it yet. Um, so hopefully I'll have that finished maybe by tomorrow night. And um, if I watch television, I, I'm, I, I'm a news junkie. Like I'll have the news on muted usually like 24 hours a day, but um, for mental health purposes, I can't do that lately. <laughs> my husband has to travel because that's, that's his job. And um, my husband is Superman, but not even he is impervious to COVID-19. So my stress level, I, or, I always worry about him anyway, but like it's kind of off the charts right now. So if I do watch TV, I'm going to limit the news just so I feel like I'm staying connected with what's going on, but limit it severely. And I'll have old movies on in the background if I need to. And then on Animal Planet, that show too cute, you know, with the kittens and the puppies, like I happened on it two nights ago as I was going to sleep. And oh my goodness, that, that lowers the tension and stress level. Can you hear Henry? Speaking of animals. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, a little vlog, a little Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. And I love making these videos, even though I don't have many people who view them. Um, I'm pretty isolated where I am, but now I feel like the whole world is feeling that. So let's just do it all together. So come with me. Saturday and um, yesterday I spent eight hours, eight hours straight. I, I stopped for lunch for like 10 minutes. I did eight hours straight of just cleaning, like spring cleaning, so uh, the kitchen and the pantry. And I was um, pleasantly distracted the whole time I was cleaning by the audiobook I was listening to. And then I finished that audiobook this morning. It's the um, Long Bright River, which I think just came out this year. I was afraid it would be too depressing with things as stressful as they are. I thought, oh, I might need a lighter read. But no, I was, I was so into it. it. Took me a little bit to get into it, but not long. And then once I was in, I was in. I even, so last night I stopped cleaning like five or six in the evening. And um, and I kept listening to it, uh, the audiobook, while I was I, I knitted, <laughs> while I was listening to it because I did not want to stop listening, but I did want to stop cleaning for the day. Um, the story it, it, it centers around two sisters, um, and if you can hear me, I mean, that's Henry, and they live outside of Philadelphia. And the older sister is a patrol officer and the younger sister has a drug addiction. Um, I think there's two years um, in between their ages. And we, um, we go from, we flip on the timeline, um, you know, it'll go current and then back when they were younger and current and back when they were younger. Uh, the older sister who is the cop, she is, she's trying to find her younger sister. and. And the story unfolds from there. Um, it, it was just so good. I really was hooked with this, um, with the storyline, and I thought the writing was very good. So I was listening to it on audiobook. I think the audiobook is 13 hours and something. And um, yeah, so I'm done with it. The Long Bright River. I highly recommend it. I think I'm going to give it four stars. I still need to contemplate it more, but I think that's where that one's going to land. Um, 
So now, <laughs> the other audiobook I had queued up for this weekend is American Dirt, but I'm just really not in the mood uh, to start something like that. I just went through that journey with the Long Bright River, and I know American Dirt is going to be another journey, uh, and not an easy journey, and I'm just... I'm going to listen to something lighter. I actually may start off with some music just to get me going because today I'm kind of like, huh. I mean, <laughs> after cleaning eight hours yesterday, I just, I woke up this morning and I actually felt like a little sore in my legs and I'm like, oh no, you're getting old, Susan. But I do have an audiobook, and I actually have the physical book of it and I've never read it before, Anne of Green Gables. I know. Like, I can't believe I've never read Anne of Green Gables. So I was thinking, now might be a good time for that audiobook. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to probably start off with some music, but then I may switch to Anne of Green Gables. And I didn't get anything read yesterday in Silence of the Girls. What I want to do is I want to clean, like, I, I didn't have a ladder up here yesterday, so I want to clean the very tops of the of the kitchen cabinets and then I want to clean all the trim all on the main level so yeah so that's going to be some work um I did the pantry yesterday oh my goodness if we do have a food shortage which I don't think we will like I they're not saying we will but I never have food in the house and I I, I don't even know how this is possible but this is the pantry here I'll flip this around so you see this that is all the food I have, other than what's in my refrigerator, which is way more empty than this. <laughs> I really need to learn to stock up. gosh I'm done with all the trim that included in the bathroom in the pantry and then the rest of the first floor um, and look how red-faced I am this is not blush <laughs> I'm so sweaty but um, yeah so that's done now I'm going to re-vacuum this floor I know I just vacuumed it yesterday but it needs re-vacuuming and then I'm going to steam mop it and then I think I'll take a shower and read the rest of the day, unless unless I can't stop. But I did listen to music the entire time. I listened to the Hamilton soundtrack. I hadn't listened to that in a while. I'm rethinking my Anne of Green Gables logic. I don't know if I can go from the Long Bright River to Anne of Green Gables, you know what I mean? Maybe I should do American Dirt, or maybe I have another credit on my Libra FM account, so maybe I should find another book. Whew. Good morning. It is Sunday and it is nine in the morning. And the only thing I have on my agenda today is reading. <laughs> so I did two days straight of spring cleaning and um, I just feel like it's Sunday. Let's just rest a little bit and get lost in a book. So I'm going to read The Silence of the Girls. The book isn't long. It's 290 pages. So um, I should be able to finish this today. That is the plan. There may be a nap involved with today. Um, I would not be surprised. But um, yeah, so I, I, it's pajama pants all day long and uh, taking you guys along with me. So come on. All right, it, it is 7 p.m., well, a few minutes till, and I spent the entire day and just finished reading The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. I really enjoyed this book, but I don't know that I would have if I hadn't read The Song of Achilles first. I kind of feel like, I feel like, Circe by Madeline Miller and The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller that 
you could read either of these books even if you're not like super interested in Greek mythology or if that's something new to you or you hadn't, you know, read the Odyssey or the Iliad since high school or college, I could see most people still enjoying these two books. They're so well written. The story, stories in both of them are magnificently weaved. Now, this is also really well, writ well written and, um, the story is also beautifully weaved, but not, in my opinion, on the scale of Madeline Miller's, but still very good. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of stick with what I said. I think it's because I read this first that I enjoyed this so much. Like, I was more invested in this because of this. Had there been no this, I don't know how invested I would have been in this. I hope that makes sense. If I go to do my March monthly wrap-up, I'll, I'll say what the star rating is. So, I mean... Yeah, I guess that's the end of this weekend vlog. It's Sunday night. The weekend's over. I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, yeah, I just talked to my husband a little while ago. So other than talking to him and taking a nap today, yeah, I spent the whole day with the silence of the girls. And that title is very appropriate for the message behind the book, by the way. Um, all right, so I guess I'll say goodbye. I hate to kind of, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to start next. I mean, I literally just finished that book like five minutes before I started this wrap up. So I need to kind of process some feelings about it before I think what next. But I'll keep you guys posted as always. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you subscribe. And if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you've read any of these books or you enjoy the Greek mythology rabbit hole, leave me a comment below and tell me what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy about them. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye.